Hey, this is Erin Bennett at Play Therapy Connection, A Heart's Way Home. And I want to just spend a couple minutes talking to you today about how to set up your child's telehealth or teleplay therapy session for success. So I've learned a lot of things about providing telehealth sessions for children over the last eight to 10 weeks. And at the end of the day, the biggest surprise for me has been how successful working virtually has been with my clients. I was hesitant at first and I was nervous, but at the end of the day, what I remind myself and what I was reminded of by my child clients is that when they are engaged in a therapeutic process, they innately know the way towards healing and they will play and they will use toys and stories in any way they can to move themselves towards that healing. And it's my job to witness that with them. And I can do that on the other side of a computer screen. To do it successfully, there are a couple things that I found are really helpful. And this is where you as a caregiver come into play. So first and foremost, we want to make sure that your child who's engaging in teletherapy has access to a well-working laptop computer, desktop computer that has a camera or a wireless de a device of some kind, a tablet, right? And making sure that it has a, a camera so that we can see them and some kind of microphone so that we can hear them and then a solid Wi-Fi connection. So those are kind of the technical pieces. The other thing that's really helpful is a set of headphones or earbuds. I actually myself just invested in some wireless headphones and it has made a huge difference in terms of um, kind of blocking out some of the extra noise in my space, as well as providing some extra privacy. So let's talk about privacy. So when you bring your child to a therapy session, they do their work in a contained room with the therapist that's private and confidential. And so we're asking you to think about, can you set up a quiet space in your home where your child's going to have their session, where they do have a level of privacy and confidentiality? Sometimes that's their bedroom or a playroom. I've had sessions out on a patio inside a hammock, <laughs> right? But we want some sense of this is their time and their play or their conversations with their therapist remain private and confidential. And so even if that means, you know, finding a designated place in the house and then encouraging everybody else to, again, kind of give them some space and some time to do their work, that's super important. And it just helps preserve that um, relationship between the therapist and the child. So we talked about, you know, finding a, safe, a quiet place, making sure logistically and tech wise, you've got a, a functioning set of equipment and then making sure that you as the caregiver are nearby at the beginning of the session to help get everything set up, check and make sure everything's working really well, and then nearby towards the end to help close the session out. The other thing that's helpful is to make sure to share with the therapist either a phone number where they can shoot you a quick text if they need you to like come troubleshoot something that's not going well technology-wise during session, or you know, hey, we need you to come in and kind of help out with this part. So still be nearby, still be accessible and communicate with the therapist what's the best way to get in touch with you during the therapy time. And then last but not least, I actually encourage families to pull together some kind of um, basket or gather some things up for the play therapy session. So here are a couple of ideas of things to put in that therapy basket, some paper, some pens and markers or crayons, some kind of art work supplies, toys that your child likes to play with. And this could be anything. It could be their Legos. It could be um, mini figures, whatever it is that they enjoy playing with or some stuffed animals. Maybe it's a game that they like to play and they want to show the therapist the game and we can play it together virtually. Having some sensory toys, whether that's a squishy um, to help your child focus and stay engaged in the session, or maybe it's Play-Doh, any kind of sensory engagement, and then anything special that your kiddo wants to bring to session. That's all welcome. But gathering that up before the session starts can be really helpful. So hopefully those quick tips help you realize, hey, I can set my kid up for success during their teletherapy session with their therapist. Look forward to connecting with you soon. Take care.